Hi, this is Ruth Teresa with One Inspiring Woman, and today I'm answering a Dear Ruth Teresa question. That's right. I was talking to a client today, and one of the things that we are kind of really discussing as we're getting ready for her next appointment is kind of um, she got a message from her angels and guides, and she ignored it. I know. Not good. But I said everybody does this from time to time. Each and every one of us will get a message from our angels and guides, or we'll hear something like, take a step back or we'll hear that's not yours or that's not your energy. Don't deal with it. And she said, Oh my gosh, she goes, I got that message a couple of days ago. And then here she is stepping into it. She walked into a meeting and she kind of took on someone else's energy and kind of went a little crazy. We're going to put it that way. Um, and, but I said, this is your opportunity to learn when you get that message that this is not yours or this is not your energy listen to it. So many times that that kind of like that intuition comes up or angels and guides sending us the message seems so light and so easy. It's one of those, they're not going to come up this, the high, beside you and knock you over with a bat. It's going to be this soft, easy energy of, hey, this isn't yours. Hey, allow them to do this part or take a step back for a moment. So that's kind of our message from our angels and guides. A lot of times it's like very soft, very quiet, kind of like, did I really hear something? When you hear it, take note of it. It's your job to take note of it. It's your job to figure out like, oh my gosh, I am doing something wrong. I have got to get this in the right direction. And so that's really our message is when you hear that message, when you kind of feel that, that energy on your heart, like a really soft energy, take note of it. Don't wait. Don't, oh, I'll deal with it later. Because a lot of times it just kind of passes on down the road and then it's like, oh, wait, I didn't deal with this. I didn't do what I was supposed to do. That's the important part. Really, really, really listen to those soft, quiet, kind of intuitive angel messages and be in action. The most important part is be in action over this be in action over this. As soon as you feel that message coming over, as soon as you kind of like, okay, what should I be doing? And you hear that it's not about you, then let it go. Listen to that message, that still silent voice almost in our heads of going like, yeah, that's our intuition. And it's telling you more times than not, take it easy. It's not about you. Your intuition has so many messages, but they're almost like micro soft messages. They're not overwhelming, crazy energy messages. Nope, they're really not. So when you hear it, take note of it, put it on your calendar, like, you know, note to self, like meeting with me kind of thing and put down in the notes like, Hey, I got this message from my intuition, um, that this meeting or this event wasn't about me and what do I need to do? Or how do I require dealing with this energy so I can let it go? Because it felt like mine. And I was like, well, if it felt like yours, then it's probably a little bit of your energy, but mostly their energy. And so that just lets you know, like you have some commonality in here. You may feel like you're being attacked as well or whatever it is. So that's kind of the fun, cool part with this is when you hear that intuition, when you hear that message, listen to it and listen carefully and really, really, really understand that it is your job to kind of hear that message of it's not yours. Take it off. Don't, don't carry that energy into that meeting with you because it's one of those, it's not going to work out for, well for you and you're going to take on someone else's energy and you may feel like you're being attacked because you are because you're taking on their energy. You kind of like stole their gift. They, this was their gift to learn a lesson and kind of learn what to do or how to work through things and you jumped on it and you took it over. Yeah, not yours. So let's do some angel cards and let's give us a little bit deeper insight into listening to our intuitive voice. The first one is healing. When we get our intuitive voice, it's about healing us and are helping other people or assisting other people in healing themselves. It's not about anything else. It's not about taking over or doing something else. It's just allowing someone else or listening to that message of it's their stuff. It's not yours. Or this is your stuff and you need to be working on this. So what do you have to change, fix, or modify about you to work on this? 
Okay, retreat. Retreat is always a good thing. When you hear those messages, the best thing you can do is take five super deep breaths of just taking a moment to relax, taking a moment to recenter yourself, taking a moment to what is my part and what do I require doing at this time? That's a really important message. Next, serenity. If you want peace about this, don't take on other people's stuff. You're, you're kind of hijacking their gifts, so let's not do that. The serenity in it is when you hear the message, listen to it and work on it. Because if not, you kind of end up kicking yourself in the head a couple of times after that going like, oh my gosh, I should have listened. I should have done this differently. I should have done this part differently. Yeah, no, let it go. Um, intention. What is your intention? When you, when you set these messages up, what is the intention? How are you going to fix this? My intention is to give that energy back to that person. My intention is to only listen to my angels and guides. And once I hear their voice, once I hear their message, I'm in action, total action to get what I need done. Um, next is listening. When you listen, take that time. So many times when people tell me like, I think I heard a message from my angels and guides. And I was like, take the time right there, literally closing your eyes and okay, angels and guides. What are my, what's my message? What I would require doing right now to fix this message. That's amazing. Taking the time to really, really listen. Take a few breaths to really focus in on what you're supposed to be doing at this time to bring healing to you and allow others to step in their own power. I thank you so much for joining me today, and I know that we'll be talking again soon.